I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohalayim, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, and Racha, Kodash, by Katham, that were honors to the apostles and to the great millstone who do real well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity as well as risking their lives and freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, Shalom to Akwaf, the Akim up there listening and learning, Lord willingly. This is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations and fearing like the other nations have been subscribing to this truth. The USA Shalom. So, Brother Yah, what's up? Out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yah, about Shane Um This is an article popped up on my feed through the spirit. I decided to bring it out. Lord willing, it's edifying. This is from RT. It says, No means no. Protests erupt across New York demanding end to. Mandates and passports. So this is dated September 28th, which is today. It says people gathered during a protest against uh, vaccines and vaccine passports in New York City. And that's the spear because, you know, they just had um, one in Australia, Melbourne, Australia. I did a video on it and it was it turned very violent, you know, to the point where right now people if people wasn't aware you had the police out there actually chasing down civilians, shooting them with rubber bullets and shit. The elder um, Apostle Tahar did a video about it, and he, I think the video is titled, Is America Next or Could This Be America? And he's sh is showing it. So, yeah, it's going to be America, you know? Because I mean? uh, uh, eventually, like I said, these people are going to lose it, and that's what they're banking on. You know, these elites are pushing and to the point where when you're getting constantly pushed into a corner, you can't you can't go any further. You're gonna you know you're gonna push back. It says large crowds of demonstrators gathered around sites in New York City as well as upstate, demanding the government repeal mandatory vaccination orders for certain categories of workers and the passport system implemented in NYC. Protesters were seen marching in Manhattan, Staten Island, and elsewhere in the city on Monday afternoon and into the evening. So that was just yesterday, with one reporter on the scene estimating a crowd of at least 1,000 in the former barrio. It says, and this is a video. So it says, marches were heard chanting, my body, my choice, and footage making the rounds online, echoing the slogan of pro-abortion activists, as well as no means no, and no more direct, it's like, and the more direct, fuck Joe Biden and de, de Blasio, referring to the president and New York mayor. Others were seen hoisting a banner opposing medical mandates and digital passports while demanding health freedom now. So, um... As you can see, it's a scripture we always constantly go to, but the scripture is nonetheless prophecy. It's the second Ezra chapter 15, verse um, starting at verse 14, all to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. And the point is verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power. So um, they're not regarding these people in authority, you know, these governors. Uh, shit, they president, you know. I mean, it is a slogan saying, fuck this guy, Joe Biden. But uh, the brother Shamak from Detroit, he brought out a scripture in the book of uh, Second Ezra chapter 5. Um, because I just recently did a video about... Um, 
you know, it was a, a, a police officer that resigned. Um, he was a former Navy SEAL. I guess, he, you know, they're pushing it all on CNN. So he has a platform or a CNN allowed him to go on there. And he's basically said, like, basically from that video, it said, uh, you know, the one brother, uh, I forgot his page number, but the brother, he is his spirit because I did a video on it and then he posted the video like the next day or something like that. But long story short, in that same video saying how you got all these Navy SEALs retiring, all these police, like the elder brother, he said at least like 25 to 30% of the New York Police Department doesn't want to take it. So they're talking about quitting. So these things are going to affect, you know, you know, the, 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 you know, the one thing about America, um, the brother Shamak made a video. The one thing about this faggot ass kingdom, they do have laws. You can't just do whatever you want. So when it's less, um, law enforcement, you know, um, literally crime is going to go up. And, um, that's what the scriptures talks about. This is second Ezra chapter five, um, point is verse 10 and shall be sought of many and yet and yet not be found, then shall unrighteousness and incontinent, but its incontinence be multiplied upon the earth. And when you go into incontinence, it means basically like I'm um, going into like no self restraint or self control. So, you know, um, the things that people do all the time, you know, like, you know, uh, you know, when if a man was desiring a woman, you know, in that day when it's less law, you know, a man going to take that woman. So, you know, they, uh, if a man is, is having a verbal altercation with the woman and the woman gets to putting her hands on him and how a man would have self-restraint at that time, it, it, that's going to go. That's why when um it was a, the lockdown the first time, literally domestic violence was up around the whole world, not just in America, not just Cleveland, not just America, but around the whole world. You know, it was a, a, because the thing is, People get married but don't have anything in common besides these children or, um, you know, they might like the pleasure they receive from laying with each other or wh whatever because they've been with each other so long they grew accustomed to one another, but they don't have anything else in common. And then by having to be around each other for those extended amount of time show people that they don't really... Um, you know, they really didn't have anything in common or, you know, they like people were frustrated already. And, and that's why you had all those um, upticks in violence, you know, and that's why it's going to be um, times where you got you got mothers like that really was going crazy because they couldn't go um, to work because, you know, like school usually is the babysitter for a lot of these um, impoverished people. But they were stuck at home with their kids. They was going crazy. So that's just showing you how these people going to like leave their kids or even eat their kids. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's in the scriptures and, you know, everything is reincarnated and it's going to be on a worse scale this time because you can see that famine coming. Me and the brother through the spirit was just talking about the price of food and whatnot. You know, uh, I know the East Coast and the West Coast was get, got hit and affected by that chicken, but I never really seen the, the price increase until just yesterday when we went to the grocery store and it wasn't a huge increase, but you know, is it, you know, cause they only giving you what they want to give you as far as the select uh, pieces of meat. But then, yeah, the, the meat went up a lot. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's where that dark winter is going to come into play. Fuck a Christmas, but you know what I mean? Like with, I mean, it's September now by December. If the price is steadily increasing, you're going to look up and, you know, that same chicken I just bought yesterday might be twenty, thirty dollars. The brothers talking about it, you know, in in, in the East Coast in New York, uh, you know, they talking about a three pack of salmon is fifty, sixty dollars. So yeah, you about to, you know, you about to see, <laughs> you about to see a lot of judgment. Uh, it's more videos. There's a lot of videos. I know RT. I know Russia laughing at this. I could have did a lot with this video, but I tried to, um, it popped up in my feed. Now I got a lightweight, get ready to go to work. I'm going to read a little bit more of it because it's going into more of these mandates. It says, uh, other demonstrators erupted up, other demonstrations erupted upstate as well, such as in Rochester, where one group gathered to protest 
a vaccine mandate for healthcare workers. So this is multiple um, demonstrations and protests outside the Strong Memorial Hospital. The mandate for all hospital nursing home staff took effect on Monday, requiring healthcare workers to receive at least one shot of the CV vaccine. But it's kind of funny, but it's, I mean, uh, you know, we have some spiritual spiritual times. It says uh, CV, and and the thing is this: what people don't realize is these people are they they're waiting for a specific result. It, like brothers made the statement, "Oh, what are you gonna do when?" You, you like you got a whole like like I think um the elder brought out it was like a hospital in um India that like a staff of 130 people just quit because they refusing to take it. Okay, so that's pretty much a whole hospital staff. So how are they gonna replace them? Because they're not attending to, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they want chaos. Do you understand? You know, it's a movie called The Chaos Theory. And when you understand, they say chaos has an actual pattern. You know, when you go into the Joker, Joker was crazy as fuck, but, you know, it's all perspective. If you understand, Joker wasn't really crazy. You know what I mean? Well, if you really understand that movie, you know what I mean? Like, he was a demon. He's a spirit. And what he did, what he did, what what happened? That, that whole, you know, him doing his chaos made the whole city go into chaos. Anyhow, uh, what else? Um, while employees at New York City schools, while employees at New York City schools who amount to more than one hundred fifty thousand people in the nation, so these stupid ass people that broke their neck to try to put their kids back in school, making them wear the masks and stuff, and, and, and you that did all this probably can't wait to that, um, you know, because basically. They talk about having the 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 jab and stab for five year olds and up by like they talk about before um um Halloween trick or treat showing you how much of a wicked holiday that is and they keep on promoting it too before Halloween like fucking devils it says uh, we're also ordered to receive the first vaccine dose by Monday a federal appeals court blocked that more move earlier this week with a temporary injection that's what I read they basically saying that um. Uh, they making it go through a, another panel. So it's not really literally enforced yet. But people are already protesting. So I think they I think they're supposed to have it by Monday, but now, like I said, a judge blocked it. So like I said, they they they're gonna bring it before a, a, a three party panel or something like that. But like I said, all you're doing is um staving off the inevitable. You know, the, these people that's behind the scenes that's actually trying to bring this to first of all it's the will of y'all about Al shop but second of all you know these people have touched touched I mean it's nothing to, to touch a, a judge or you know what I mean like come on they need people to touch the president how do you think Kennedy got killed how do you think Abraham Lincoln got killed however the city school chancellor Misha Porter says she expected the requirement will ultimately be upheld right as a spirit. And earlier on Monday, a court did just that, dissolving the injection and allowing the mandate to go ahead. See, I didn't know that. So, you know, what I read must have been older news. They said, so basically, they overturned what the judge did and they dissolved the injunction and made the mandate go ahead. So that's why they so in an uproar. So, like I said, God, because this is inevitable. So you're gonna have to make a stand. It ain't you gonna be able to get past these fucking laws and these people, like at the end of the day. This is social engineering on a worldwide scale. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and and you know what's so spiritual about it too? Is literally when you go like follow some of the shit these entertainers been saying, these entertainers literally pushing the, the uh idea and the agenda. Well, if you not for this or you're not willing to do this well like the one dude jimmy kimball kimball the 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 uh talk show host guy which is like i never found him funny he's supposed to be like a comedian and whatnot but i know he has a show he said basically if you're not willing to take it that basically you should be ostracized from society fuck you getting the uh, ability to eat and all that and you got a lot of celebrities that's pushing that mindset and most people are you know dim-witted and slow and you know like really um 
give a fuck what these people think that you'll never meet or do, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, but you know, you got people that are actually follow um, these people's like suggestions and, and their mindset and, 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 and really look up towards these people. Like you're going to have a lot of them conform with their thoughts. Cause you got to remember a lot of people in America are sheeple. But the thing is, this is all spiritual because it talks about in the scriptures about the division that Yahweh Hamashiach gonna bring. And you seeing this great division that's happening in this place. This is all of the Lord, Yahweh Yahusha. It says, um, school employees will now be required to take the first shot by October 4th. So they gave them a week, <laughs> a three judge panel rule. So that's what I found out of it, right? The three judge panel. But basically, yeah, you don't know if they was paid off of the, like I said, <laughs> you know, the elder was going into the whole um, idea of democracy. When you go into democracy, the elder Yashawamba was going into, democracy came from Greece. You know, the same area where, well, from Athens, Greece, where the same area where, um, you know, you got that politician, Dracon, that where you get the, the word draconian <laughs> from, right? So, yeah. You about to see um, this become, you know, this democracy that everybody believe in so much become a dictatorship. That's why, like I said, it's not about your opinion and what it's your body and your choice and all that. No. This ain't happened during Trump's reign. <laughs> right. A protest caravan also made it its way. But to show you how they work hand in hand, the, 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 the Maxine was developed during Trump's reign. A protest caravan also made its way through Staten Island earlier on Monday, reportedly traveling to a number of local public schools to denounce the upcoming mandate. In addition to the mandates for certain types of workers since mid-August, proof that they received at least one dose of the CV uh, vaccine or else be barred entry to restaurants and a number of other indoor public Public spaces. New York was the first major city in the U.S. to roll out such a passport, mirroring mirroring policies implemented in France and elsewhere abroad. Other states and localities, such as Hawaii, have since adopted similar vaccine pass systems. I did not know that. Good information. Um. Uh, yeah. So there you have it. Uh, you got a lot of people upset at the um. You know, it's being forced upon them. And at the end of the day, you're going to have people react. Like I said, again, I, I made a statement. Like I said, these people, like I said, they, they actually do a lot of studies. You know, it tells you in scripture that, you know, Esau has done a diligent search. So, you know, he'll, he'll you know, like the whole syphilis, the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. They literally gave, you know, Jake syphilis and then sat back and watched the effects of it. So you don't think that they already got an idea of the outcome of this? You know, they run simulations all the time. You know, at the end of the day, um, I forgot who made the statement. One of the brothers, it was I think it was an elder, made the statement. They said, Esau will poison the water to sell. He'll poison the ocean to sell you a bottle of water. You know, his mindset, his thinking is like, you know, ridiculous. You know what I mean? You know, of course, it's greed, but also, you know what I mean. It's because you know, you know, the 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 ends justifies the means to Esau. So you gotta remember their whole idea. You know that that Georgia Guidestones, the whole uh, plan was um, to depopulate the earth. How do you think? You think people just go? You know what I mean? Like people are gonna be dying some horrific deaths. I forgot what airport was that. Denver Airport. Go look at the mural there. I remember my demon, she was so terrified of that mural. She wanted to try and break down some shit. <laughs> like, hey, you got it. And then you come to find out that it was, uh, uh, I forgot which Masonic chapter helped to actually have pay for that. Just like I remember um, when I was homeless, uh, they had the first gay um, pride parade here in Cleveland. The um, the Masons helped uh, to, to, to actually, like, um, what's the word? Um. Uh, they help organize that. You people go figure out that this shit, <laughs> this shit is not what it is. So if you, you, you know, 
If you are so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar to India, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Why you still can, why the doors of mercy are still open. And if not, you know, be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Loyim, La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rachak on this broken thumb. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to his truth. To you, I'll say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Waffle up a ball, shallow one.